Hey guys, Vincent Rose here, H2G Fitness, coming to you from the treadmill. Hope everybody's having a good day today. This is day four of cutting. I'm at the gym right now, and uh, I did some chest, shoulders, triceps, abs, and now finishing it off with a little bit of cardio. And it might sound like it might be a long workout, but in all honesty, it's only about an hour and 10 minutes of weights and 20 minutes of cardio. So an hour and a half, no big deal. And a uh, small, small, small price to pay to get ready for summer. Small price to pay to get ready for my first competition. So with that being said, I wanted to record a real quick video for you guys. And uh, the topic's gonna be how to lose body weight, how to get ready for summer, how to get shredded, how to get your six pack to show, any of these things. It all boils down to how do you get the body fat off of you that you put on during the holidays and uh, all of 2013. So there's three elements that you gotta focus on. First element is nutrition. Second element is training. That can be cardio and or resistance training. Third element, supplementation. So that's the order of importance that they need to go. If you are somebody that cares about the way your physique looks from a standpoint of muscle, then I'm gonna put 60% of the importance on nutrition. I'm gonna put 30 to 35% of the importance on your resistance training slash cardio, and five to 10% of the importance on supplementation. If you're not somebody that necessarily wants to look like a bodybuilder or a physique competitor, and you're somebody that just wants to strap strip the body fat off of you in that case nutrition is 70 percent of your importance resistance training and cardio is 20 to 25 percent of importance and supplementation is 5 to 10 percent okay so why do so many people struggle with weight loss because they do this in reverse order i want to lose weight that's the first thing that comes to mind i need to go to gnc I need to go online, I need to go to vitamin shop, I need to go to supplement warehouse, I need to go wherever, and I need to get a fat burner, a thermogenic, a weight loss supplement, some CLA 500, some carb blocker, some glucose control, whatever it might be, and that's their first order of importance. Not knowing that this is only going to give them a 5% edge. I gave supplementation 5 to 10% of the importance. If it's a natural supplement, I'll give it five. If it's an illegal supplement, which is what competitors take, it's 10, right? You can get a 10% edge off of some supplements, quote unquote supplements, that I won't name, because you suckers will go and try to find them online. You'll probably find them. Um, that being said, it's five to 10% of the importance, but people put 90% of the importance on a supplement. This is wrong. Then from there, okay, you got your supplement, you're excited about it, you got your thermogenic, you take it, you get all jittery, your hands start shaking, your heart starts beating, and uh, you know, you sweat more. So this bad boy must be working, right? What's the next thing you do? Start focusing on cardio, maybe resistance training, but you start doing lots and lots and lots and lots of cardio, which is okay, but again, this is only 30 to 35 percent of the importance, or 20 25 percent of the importance, depending on if you care how your muscles look or not. And then the nutrition, which is 60 to 70 percent of the process, most people put 5 to 10 percent of the importance there. So they do it in reverse order. What I will tell you is I don't care how many supplements you take, I don't care how much cardio you do. I don't care how much resistance training you endure. If your nutrition is not in place, it's all for nothing. You're spinning your wheels, you're wasting time. Even if you get results, you will not keep them. They will not be permanent. You'll yo-yo back up and chances are you'll be bigger than when you started for multiple reasons. So with that guys, nutrition is the most important thing. You cannot outrun your fork. You cannot out-train a bad diet. And until you get your nutrition in place, you are flat out wasting your time. Stop doing cardio. Stop buying freaking pills. And don't worry about it, because you're wasting your time anyways. If your nutrition is in place, cardio can help. Supplements can help. But 
remember the order of importance that it goes. That being said, if you're only worried about losing body fat, calories is the only thing that you need to concern with. <coughs> if you're concerned about losing body fat and retaining muscle, because in the process of losing weight, you're not just losing fat, you are losing muscle as well. So if you're just worried about losing weight, worry about calories. And you'll lose fat and you'll lose muscle along with it. If you are concerned about taking off body fat but keeping muscle, this is when you need to start studying macronutrients, the importance of them, what they should be at. And if you don't know any of that stuff, hire somebody. I know a guy who's pretty knowledgeable uh, in this area, in this arena, that can save you a lot of time and won't charge you an arm and a leg to do it. So there you go with nutrition. With losing body weight, body fat, I'm going to tell you like a friend, resistance training is more important than cardio. Cardio is not as important as people think, which is the reason why, yes, I'm doing cardio right now, but all I'm doing is walking on a treadmill. And I'll promise you this, I will get down to 3% body fat with striations in my glutes, meaning there's no body fat in my buttocks anymore, striations in my glutes, rips, feathers, cords, veins all over my body. And I will never do anything harder and walk on this treadmill like I am right now. And I can look to my left and there's people killing themselves, running their hearts out. I can look to my right and there's people killing themselves doing interval training, which I'm not knocking, but it's not necessary. And I can look all around me. There's people doing CrossFit style workouts, right? Because muscle confusion and metabolic workouts and yada, 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 yada is the biggest craze. And that's all cute. That's all fine. None of that is wrong. But I'm still going to be here walking on this treadmill, smoking every single one of them, getting down to 3% body fat, laughing my butt off because they're working their asses off. And most of them aren't losing weight because they don't have the rest of the stuff figured out. It's not about working hard. It's about working smart. There's nothing wrong with working hard. As long as you're working smart, work hard, smart. Work smart, hard, right? Combine the two, which is what I'm doing. So. On top of that, there are some supplements that are legit. Just remember, they're going to give you a 5 to 10% edge, which is good. Um, I'll take a 5% edge all day long. If it's a legal supplement, hopefully you get a 5% edge. If it's an illegal supplement, you can get a 10% edge, but it's illegal and you don't freaking need it. And even if it gets you shredded for summer, the long-term health effects of it ain't freaking worth it, and I don't recommend it. So, unless you're like a, you know, unless you just don't give a crap about your health and only care about your appearance, go that route. That being said, guys, I hope this stuff helps. Um, it took me a while to figure this out. This was the reason I yo-yoed with my weight my entire life before I knew this. And now that I knew this, now that I know this, I know how to get shredded. Um, walking on a treadmill, eating tons of food because nutrition has nothing to do with low carb it has nothing to do with starving yourself it has nothing to do with cutting out sodium all of that is a bunch of freaking crap and if your trainer is recommending that you do any of it find a different trainer i know a good one just saying so with that guys i'm out <laughs> a little bit long on this one vincent rose h2g fitness future is bright something good has happened this video helped you in any shape way shape or form and you'd like to share it, I won't be mad at you at all. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, ideas, any of these things, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do so. With that, over and out. You guys be blessed. Take care. Four and a half months till summer. Don't dork around. It's going to go by faster than you know. You guys be blessed. Bye.